Hello, everybody. Elizabeth Johnston here of Own Your Creativity and the Memoir Summit. Welcome to 18 more days until the summit on November 14 to November 16. So uh, today I'm going to be introducing Marty McGuire, who's actually interviewing me on the summit about brainstorming and generating ideas. Over 25 years, I guess now, uh, of teaching, oftentimes students find that that's the hardest thing is how do I get started? How do I think up ideas of what to write? And so a big part of what I do in my classes and for my coaches, uh, for my clients and my coaching business is to help them with generating ideas. And so that's what Marnie and Mar Marnie McGuire and I are going to be talking about during the interview that she does of me on the summit. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Marnie. She's the co-author of Picture Perfect, the story of Black's photography, published by the oldest independent publishing house in Canada, Goose Lane Editions. She is an independent spirit, and her latest work, A Lick of Fire, is a novel in zine art form. Marnie's personal writing style can be described as a combination of magic realism and poetic grunge, but she's equally comfortable with writing more conventional pieces on commission. Synthesizing her writing experience with her doctoral research, Marnie facilitates truly meaningful workshops and memoir consultations for a broad spectrum of aspiring authors, including street youth, teen mothers, corporate professional seniors, as well as college and university students. So. Um, that's Marnie and I, I think that you know most people know me and most people have visited my website and uh, have taken a class with me or a challenge or something so you do know a little bit about me but there's actually quite an uh, influx of new people to um, to the group recently so I'm just going to spend a bit of time telling you who I am and uh, what do I do and all that kind of stuff and if you're joining live please do say hello leave a comment and uh, and uh, if I see it while I'm broadcasting, I can say hello. Okay, so uh, yeah, so me, I am an author, professor, and writing coach, and I'm also the host and organizer of the Memoir Summit, plus I have a podcast called Own Your Creativity. I have been writing uh, alongside my teaching career for over 25 years, and uh, my work has appeared in many publications, including the Huffington Post, Thrive Global, Leaders in Heels, Yellow Pages Online, The Globe and Mail, The Toronto Star, Ottawa Citizen, and so many other, many other uh, publications. I was awarded a Canada Council for the Arts writing grant to write my book, No Small Potatoes, which is a literary nonfiction book about why uh, GMOs are not good for us and our society and culture. And I also did a video poem. So I wrote a poem that was inspired by my grandmother's photos of the time just after the war. She was in a displaced persons camp and um, and she had a lot of photos, you know, those old black and white photos with uh, people that probably you don't even know. Um, but I always found them so fascinating that those, those photos graphs. So I wrote a poem and then a few years after I wrote the poem, I came across this thing called video poems. And I was so inspired that um, I was able to connect my creative writing degree with my video film and video degree in screenwriting so those um, poems and uh, poetry and screenwriting married in that project and um, that um, project I submitted to a couple of film festivals and it was shortlisted in both of them for their competition and I was also the script consultant for a short film that uh, called the, the search which was premiered at the Cannes Film Festival and uh, yeah, so that's just a little pricey of, of who I am and what I've done over the years. And if you want to find out more, you can go to elizabeth-johnston.com or you can go to ownyourcreativity.com. So if you haven't already signed up for uh, notifications of, about the summit, then you can do that at memoirsummit.com. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or uh, comments or ideas, um, I post questions, different question every day. And today was, uh, how do you generate ideas? And so I'd love to hear from you about how you generate ideas for your writing. And I will see you tomorrow.